Hey guys, welcome to another plugin tutorial today. It's on Prism Mines. So this is a really cool plugin which allows you to create mines and edit everything about them, including the reset time and the blocks, the percentages, all that good stuff, in a really nice GUI. So to start with, we are going to select our mine. So get the bottom right hand corner and the top left hand corner using World Edit. And then fly back up to the top and do mine create and the name of your mine. So let's just call it test. Then we need to do mine set region and test like that. And we need to set a TP point. So uh, I'm going to set this here by doing mine set TP and obviously the name. This is the part where it gets a bit interesting. So if you do mine panel and then uh, test, we get this awesome GUI. So there's four different things in here. The first one is obviously the teleport. If we click this, it TPs us back to this point. We have all of the signs, which uh, I'll show you a bit later. We have the manage resets and we have the manage blocks. So let's go into the blocks first. We can add a block. Let's go with stone. So place it in there and we can actually change the percentage chance of it appearing um, using all of these. So we're going to set it at 50%. Um, I think that's about fair. So most of it is going to be stone. Click finish. And you can see here, uh, I didn't actually do it quite right. So we're going to add it again. Uh, minus 25%, 75. So the chance is 50%. So finish and add. Add a new block. This is going to be diorite. And we are going to set this to uh, 20%. So finish and add. Then we can add maybe diamond as well. This is going to be quite low. So let's take off 20%. So it's going to be a 10% chance of diamond. And finally, let's add some emerald, and that's going to be 20%. Uh, so um, here we go, we have all the blocks up here. We can go back and change the manage reset. So let's just click reset now. This is what it looks like when it's fully reset. And we can change the way it resets. So you can either choose gradual or instant. So I'm going to stick with instant. I'm going to go over here and change when it resets. So you can set it by time, by adding seconds and taking off seconds. So it's 5 minutes and 45 seconds. Um, and you could make that 5 minutes if you wanted to. Or you could do it by percentage. So when 50% has been mined, um, it will reset. So this is really, really cool that you can change it like this. If we go back, uh, we can reset it again, which is really cool. And let's get the signs. So there's four different signs you can get just shift click them into your inventory and we have the um, percentage mind we have the percentage left we have the blocks mind and uh, resetting in how long so this is so so cool um, it is a premium plugin by the way so you do need to create an account on Spigot and uh, buy it I think it's quite cheap so uh, you can get that if you want to so if I start smashing blocks, pretending to mine, uh, I should really get a diamond pickaxe D, pickaxe 1, set the sun, and today, and just start uh, mining, you know, like this. And we can have a look on here. So it's 0.25% mined. This is the percentage left. We have mined 13 blocks. So if I do maybe enchant efficiency, it's not used for efficiency. Uh, can I do 10? No, let's just do 5. And hopefully this will mine even quicker. So yeah, um, obviously you can set up your prison mine plugin uh, any way you want. And your prison server might have uh, really cool pickaxes and whatnot. So let's have a look on here and see how long left is. Uh, so 3 minutes, 40 blocks mine. So yeah, that is uh, the majority of the plugin. You can obviously do forward slash mine. And that tells you all of the information. So you can do mine list, and that will show you a list of all of them. And you can get into the panel this way as well. You can do mine info, and it says we're in mine test. And you can obviously remove it if you really want to. So we can do mine reset all, and that would reset all the mines across your server. So that is the plugin. It's really, really cool. Um, there are four config files I believe you can edit uh, various messages colors text and items in the GUI although I would leave that alone to be honest it's it's perfect the way it is 
So this is the plugin. Uh, hopefully you have enjoyed the video. If you have, think about hitting subscribe or like. That helps me out. And I'll see you uh, in the next video.